uh, I just had a nasty idea. I just had a sick nasty idea. I'm gonna lead off Venusaur Eternatus, and I'm gonna go Groudon and Thunderous as my other two Pokemon. And what that's gonna let me do is Taylor make my lead to absolutely annihilate him. Uh, if they end up leading off with Zapdos, what I can do is take advantage of the fact that they're gonna be like, oh, he's gonna Dynamax the, um, he's gonna Dynamax the the Venusaur. And, you know, I just one-shot that with my Eternus. But let's say they don't lead off Zapdos. Free game to switch in the, the Groudon and start hitting stuff, you know? Yeah, Season 1, I literally got locked out of the ladder, and that was such BS. I have no idea why that happened. Okay. I feel as though it's pretty obvious that I want to... I feel as though it's pretty obvious that I want to go into Groudon here and just hit it, but we are in the lower tier, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for the Vine Lash. It's always worth it. It really is. Let's see if they switch out the Kyogre if they just stay in. They're going to go for a light screen anyway, so... Jojo, thank you so much for the follow. Is VGC going to be on Sword and Shield again for 2022? Yes. Yes. Right now, we are playing the official 2022 format. I almost Dynamax Cannoned. I'm just going to say that. Like, I almost Dynamax Cannoned into that Zapdos slot. We already know it's going to be on Sword and Shield. Uh, I did get my vines off, which is pretty cool. Light screen. Thank god that new Pokemon game looks so bad. Pokemon Legends Arceus? Or BDSP? Because Pokemon Legends Arceus goes so hard, dude. You have no idea. It's really fun. <laughs> I don't think Ruby slash Platinum have online battles, does it? That... Ruby or Plant... You mean Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Let me see. Um, I'm going to go for the Max Guard here and get in my Eternatus. Because they're just going to switch in their Kyogre and go for a Max Airstream, I would assume. Interesting they didn't Dynamax there. Reflect. Okay. How do I handle this? Yuri Impulse. I outspeed you, sir. Alright, you know what? Zapdos privilege is revoked. I know what we're doing this turn. I'm Dynamax cannoning that Zapdos, and I'm gonna go for the max ooze into my um or into their into their guy there. Zapdos privilege is revoked. I'm surprised they didn't go for the Kyogre that turn in Eerie Impulse, because I outspeed them. I think they forgot about my ability. Okay, there they go. Um, they can go Zacian, I guess. No, they went Kyogre. Oh, they're going to hate this turn. They're going to hate this turn. I don't care if they got a light screen up. They're going to take like upwards of 40 from this. Okay, that looks assault vested. That's that's probably assault vested. <laughs> Luckily they do take vine damage here, so you know, doing it for the vine. Spirit break, that's fine. I didn't I was gonna switch out my Venusaur this turn anyways, I think. Not AV, just bulky. That's the thing. Even if it is bulky, I think that's a. I think that's still gonna be okay. Yeah, they, they disconnect. I think that's still AV. Uh, I, obviously, we don't get to check anymore. But Kyogre doesn't have the type of bulk where it takes like less than thirty percent from a Dynamax Cannon choice specs, even behind Light Screen. That's that's totally AV. Bean, how you doing? Oh, hey, we do get to see. All right. 
Let's see if I'm wrong. I bet you I'm wrong. I'm always wrong about this sort of thing. No, there it is. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no chance. There's no chance that's not AV. Let's continue battling. All right. Facing against R. Ooh, okay. Um, evil Dog versus Evil Dog. We know what to do. We go with the sacred lead. We, we, I literally, it's it's the sacred lead. There's there's no other way to call it. Eternus Thunders is just such a fun lead for this team. Like, it, it does well into so much stuff. The sacred, you know how, like, in Melee, they have, like, the sacred combo for Captain Falcon players? Eternatus players, how, uh, or Specs Eternatus players in particular, have the sacred lead, which is Thunderous plus Eternatus. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think Arcanine got a little bit better this format because Zacian isn't running close combat as often as it was in previous formats. It's it's almost always play rough due to the high usage of Palkia and Eveltal. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I was I was trying to think of a Patreon video to record today. Tonight, I'm going to record a Patreon video where I build around uh, Zorark. Someone someone gift a sub to whoever asked me what Pokemon I want to use. That's like not a restricted and super underrated because they, they deserve it now because that was I just that, that just that just inspired something. <laughs> someone gift that person a sub. Uh, they're probably already subbed actually, so never mind. And also that technically only benefits me, so don't do that. That's not a reward for them. I, I didn't think that through. I really didn't think that through. <laughs> they should never ran CC. They ran Sacred Sword. Zacian ran Sacred Sword at the beginning of other formats. It slowly moved more towards uh, more towards close combat as the formats developed, and the reason was it just did more damage consistently. You still see Sacred Sword. It's still like a 50-50 as to which one it is, but it's more commonly close combat now. All right. So you might be saying, Marcos, why are you doubling up on the Lando? You know, the Lando, it, it, there's, there's a Rotom right there. He's going to burn your Thunderous. Well, this is why you run Lumberry Thunderous, because if they burn me, yay, I, I, my, my Lumberry is gone, ooh, and I still have a plus one on my max airstream. If they miss, because that's a thing that can happen when you're running Will-O-Wisp, um, funny, it's, they get to try again and then find out about the Lumberry later. Let's see if it goes down. Yes, yes, it goes down. And we get a free speed boost. All right, uh, please miss your Will-O-Wisp so you'll try again next turn. Wow, that does so much. I can't wait to Dynamax Cannon that thing. Watch your Eerie Impulse. Oh no! I just got burned on my Thunderous. Anyways. There's the Zacian. Uh, obviously, Zacian's a little bit annoying. It, 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 it's, it's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. Um, however, I'm just going to go ahead and Dynamax Cannon the Rotom here to get rid of it. Because that will always KO. And I'm going to Max Lightning the Zacian. The Cosmonaut Duck. What's up? Welcome to the stream. And thank you for the follow, Junior Kev. All right, bye, Rotom. Everyone wave, everyone wave goodbye to Rotom. Yeah, he was a good boy. This should two shot pretty cleanly. Nice. Uh, and if they want to Behemoth Blade me, I survive with both of my Mons. <laughs> GG poop. Thank you so much for the follow.
This is a certified uh-oh spaghetti -o moment for my opponent. There's the Eveltal. Most Eveltal are AV, um, but it could survive a, a, an attack here. I'm going to double up into it because it's probably going to Dynamax. And yeah, this could lose me the game, you know, but I'm only going to lose one Pokemon if they protect. So I can still like come back from it. And also due to the max Airstream speed boost, I'm always faster than Zacian. And before Sucker Punch, even if they do Sucker Punch, I take the Reveltal from them and then I win. They should use his Protect. Go ahead and Sucker Punch me. They didn't Dynamax. That means they Sucker Punch. Yep, go ahead. You already lose your Reveltal. I win. Did I register for the Shiny Bird Tournament? Not yet. Oh, I should do that. Um, between the games. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, I, I'm going to do that. And it's gone. Yeah. Uh, if I were them, I wouldn't have Sucker Punch there. I think they, they were, like, pinned. They couldn't win anyways, but... Yeah. I think Dynamaxing is always the better option. Okay, cool. I do have until the 17th, but I should really just get it out of the way. Because I will forget. I forgot to register for, like, the shiny Tapu Fini event in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, even though I, you know, wanted to play in the format. I just forgot. It's Series 12 rules. Yeah, I figured. It's it's an international challenge. Those are typically the current VGC rules. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look. I want to see the Eveltal. It was probably... Yeah, it was Assault Vest. So... It probably would have gone down to the double up anyways. They didn't really have an option in that situation. Life Orb Lando always drops to Dynamax Cannon. Guys, nice. it's him. He has descended from Mount Silver to come beat my butt with a Senta Scorch. Oh, hey, look, we can do the Sacred Lead. It's the Sacred Lead, everyone. Okay. Okay, that is not the screen I wanted. Hi, everyone. This is my face. There we go. I, I keep messing it up. You know what? Let me reorganize my scenes. Home screen, full screen, face cam. There we go. I'll even put this one above it. There we go. All right. Yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, to, I was going to post it as a little clip to YouTube. I think what I'm going to start doing is um, I've noticed that like little 30 second clips of Pokemon Legends Arceus do really good on YouTube. So I'm going to post a couple every once in a while. And I got a really good one today. I literally caught just a full odds random shiny Alpha Carnivine. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to post that. And obviously that's not going to replace content. It's just going to be like, hey, look, I'm gonna, there you go. Oh, it's 7.53 p.m. on a Wednesday. Bam! Pokemon Legends Arceus. But yeah, I love Carnivine, by the way. Let's make a Carnivine team. You know, let's make a Carnivine team. Let's do that. King Scourge, thank you so much for the sub. Full odds Parasite? Dude, Parasite's so cool. Ah, uh, yes. The Sacred Lead's about to go absolutely insane versus this thing. I'm going to max airstream the Senta Scorch. I'm going to go for a Specs Flamethrower into the Zacian. Senta Scorch has some pretty disgustingly low bulk as far as physical defense goes. So this should be fine. Uh, I'm going to be putting the Eternatus team on Discord this weekend after the tournament that Joe's hosting. Typically, when there's a team that I really like and I'm going to be running it, um, I'll use it in at least one tournament before I post it and make it public. Obviously, like you guys have been seeing me practice on YouTube and stuff, but like the full details haven't been revealed. How 
are you guys liking the new stream schedule by the way i feel like monday tuesday thursday friday is like really really solid for me as like a functioning adult because i i have a lot of other stuff i have to do i even get to go to physics club now like i i wasn't able to do that with my old schedule because i had work during physics club and then i would go home and stream but now you know i go to the 4 p.m meeting get back here by 5 30 stream for all you guys have a good night and that's tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's board game night. <laughs> oh, I'm faster. Hello? You're going to be real bulky. Play rock. Oh, that is... Sir, I, I, I regretfully... Oh, oof. thank you. I am... I regretfully inform you Behemoth Blade always does more. This definitely still kills. Oh, or not. Everything's just surviving on nothing. Alright, can I survive this turn, though? Blair Blitz? I'm living. I'm not. It doesn't really matter, though. I'm fast enough to do everything I want to do. Functioning adult in this economy? I know, right? Oh, it's life. Oh, no, it's just Flare Blitz. Okay. I, I, I almost said it was Life Orb. It is not. It is not Life Orb. Um, this might be bad. I actually might lose this now. Let me think. How do I do this? Gotta think. Gotta, gotta walk and think. Gotta think and walk. Gotta, gotta click my moves. Gotta go into Incineroar. Gotta, gotta, gotta click the fake out. All right. Come in, Eveltal. There you are. Hey, little guy. How you doing? How's the family? Okay, uh, my, my game plan here is click Snarl. I'm not going to bother faking out. I don't get anything from it. I Snarl, and I flamethrower the, the, the Zacian that I'm faster than. Behold. Also, really weird that I was faster than the Zacian initially. I guess the Zacian's running enough speed to outspeed Thunderous, and so am I. I'm going to be faster than this uh, Eveltal next turn as well, which is pretty cool. Even if they airstream. I guess the only thing that could be bad is if they airstream my... Um, if they airstream my Eternatus and protect the Zacian. That's the only way that this could go bad. Yep. Actually, no. No, I'm still faster even if they airstream because I was faster the first turn. So, yeah. Okay, I'll take it. You didn't even bother dealing with the with the guy. Awesome. Don't miss. The forever box awaits you if you miss. Okay. Connect. Thank you. The intended target has been attacked. Why is Zacian so good? I'm just beginning to play. So Zacian is really good um, because Zacian is... A Steel Fairy type, which is the best offensive and best defensive typing in the game. It has absurdly high stats, and its ability is just on switching. It basically gets the equivalent of a choice band boost because it has a 50. It's it's like basically being at plus one initially. Uh, so yeah, it just has absurdly high attack, and also it can delete a Dynamax in a single turn with Behemoth Blade if the opponent doesn't have a game plan for mitigating that. So it's just super super reliable and very good. Alright, uh, two Snarls, please. That should secure me the game, I think. No problem, GG. How slow is the Zacian for real? I don't know. I mean, we outsped it at neutral. It's probably, like, speed tied with freaking... I, I don't know. It, it's probably, like, speed tied with, um... What is his name? What What is the funny Pokemon's name? Thunderous. Or maybe it's speed tied with me because I'm one point faster than Thunderous. Perhaps. I'm going to Snarl again just to make sure I always win. Specs Flamethrower probably doesn't KO AV Rillaboom. Um, I definitely want to get my Groudon in here. And reset my Eternatus' move. I'm going to try to Flare Blitz the Rillaboom. And I'm going to get the Groudon in. If I can get rid of Rillaboom, I just win. Zekrom. Zekrom's kind of cool. Um, I don't think it's like the best restricted, but it's definitely usable. 
Why would you say Colossal isn't dominant? It's because Kyogre is a lot easier to use. Because <laughs> you can fit Kyogre on a lot of teams now. You know? Alright, there's the Airstream. Into the Insin. Insin survives because he's the GOAT. There's also a speed boost. Alright. Uh, my play here is going to be protect the Groudon and try to Flare Blitz the Rillaboom. How OP would it be if you could have both Calyrexes on the same team? Um, I just thought about that the other day. I don't think it'd be good, to be honest. And the reason I don't think it'd be good is because Incineroar beats both of them. To an extent. To an extent, it beats both of them. So, you know, and Incineroar is super common. So I think you'd rather pair them up with different Pokemon. Also, sharing a lot of weaknesses isn't really good. And they got tons of weaknesses. That's the only reason they're not absurdly broken. is because of how many weaknesses they have. Aha! Goodbye, Rillaboom. Hello, points. Also, it's not AV. That thing I'd protect. Protect Rillaboom is just a cursed thing to see, but it's not nearly as cursed as Protect Incineroar. So remember what we were saying about the Pokemon Legends RFCS YouTube shorts? What about them? Are they doing really good? I suppose I should just... Flare Blitz and Rock Slide. I'm pretty sure that does less than a Dark Pulse. Random jump from 300 views to 5k views three hours ago. They do very well. Okay, I'll, I'll probably upload one. <laughs> All right, nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, Eternatus went crazy that match. As it as it typically does. Eternatus does go crazy, in fact. For those of you just tuning into the stream, I put Diet Coke in my coffee, and it, it's disgusting. But it's keeping me awake. What would you pair with Zekrom? Zekrom hates Groudon, so probably Kyogre. Listen, I was trying something new. I'm, I'm the guy who makes weird Pokemon work. Like, like, if if, if I'm going to put a Zoroark on my team builder, you bet your bet or butt I'm fucking... I just swore, I'm sorry if you guys didn't know I swore. You bet your butt I'm putting a freaking Diet Coke in my coffee just to see if it works. I'm sure you guys don't really care, but I just don't do it often. So I have to remember when I'm editing the YouTube video to probably cut that. It's, it's mainly just a YouTube thing. Okay, uh, I can go with the sacred lead here. Actually, no. Do I go with the Sacred Lead? I don't think I go with the Sacred Lead. Um, Is the Sacred Lead even good? Oh my god, the Sacred Lead isn't good. The Sacred Lead isn't good. What am I doing? Let me think. Actually, the Sacred Lead's probably fine, but I, I want to lead off in Cinema. We'll go Eternatus, Groudon, Thunderous, and that should do it. Raccoon, AVI, you already know. You already know. So I received some devastating news the other day. Um, I was I was talking to my friends, and I asked them, Hey, a couple of, like, weeks ago, I shaved all my facial hair off. That was the first time I've ever, like, really grown it out. And they were like, yeah, you look better with it. I'm like, dang, that took a while. <laughs> so now I'm growing it back. Well, what also sucks is I have to start applying for jobs soon, so I also have to consider the fact that, hey, maybe my employer won't like facial hair. So that's that's another factor that I have to think about. Um, I can just Snarl here. And my Groudon takes this hit the best. I don't really need Groudon to win. In fact, Groudon's probably the weakest Pokemon I have in this matchup. Zacian Dialga. I'm not a fan of Zacian Dialga, and that's just because defensively they, they do not do well together. They're just pretty bad together. 
They're good individually. I think they're both great individually, in fact. Uh, but I don't think you want to put them together. Watch them helping hand like a choice banded high horsepower into my incinerator at minus one. Imagine. Imagine the devastation I would feel from that happening. Okay, expanding horse. Take it, Groudon. Take it like a champ. What did I tell you? That hurt. Okay, it's life orb. Don't you miss! You miss something! Dude! <laughs> Why does this always happen? Why do you always miss the Calyrex Incineroar? What what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Now I gotta protect, man. You're you're ruining this whole game. I hate Snarl, dude. Snarl should be 100 percent accurate. What's the point of it missing? Yeah, no, the forever box. Yeah, and now they withdraw. And now they withdraw. Because guess what? They under they didn't realize I had Snarl. And now they're like, oh, I don't want to deal with Snarl. I'm going to hit this Rillaboom in the face. Alright, you ready to see some intense gaming? Are you ready to see some intense gaming? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my play. No chance this Rillaboom can be able to one-shot a Thundee. Unless they helping hand a, a wood hammer, in which case, yeah, they're one-shotting a Thundee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for a parting shot on the Rillaboom, and I'm gonna get in my main man, Thunderous, for my Groudon. And what this is gonna let me do is I am going to parting shot directly into my Eternatus, and I'm going to give him a speed boost, and I am going to show this Calyrex what for. I've never said what for before, but I just thought it'd be funny to throw it in there. I'm going to give this Calyrex what for. <laughs> Follow me. Go ahead. I already am. Following you to the Shadow Realm. Ow! Why'd that do so much? That's gotta be like Miracle Seed, right? That, that's gotta be Miracle Seed damage. Then again, I'm not very bulky. Alright, time to lock myself into Choice Specs Dynamax Cannon. And then give them a what for? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I, I only really need the speed boost. Schminamax Cannon. Schmack Schmare Stream. With the chicken strips. <laughs> A right proper thrashing. <laughs> Beans on toast. Shout out Pyrotaz for real, though. Okay. There's a good chance they're just gonna follow me here. I, I don't really care though. Yep. Turtle Mania, thank you so much for the raid. That does so much. That's gotta be Miracle Seed. There's no chance that's not Miracle Seed, right? Set cannon. <laughs> Set cannons to kill. Okay, I think I win by virtue of I am going to annihilate this Calyrex the very next opportunity I get. Had I not missed that Snarl, we would have been in such a good spot. Think of the follow. Oh, 
Okay. Um, so here's the deal. I would honestly prefer if this stupid um, Eveltal snarled me right now trying to mitigate damage only to realize that I'm going to annihilate the Calyrex anyways. Uh, but I'm going to double into the Calyrex. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to max Airstream because I lose nothing from doing that. I lose nothing. And if they Dynamax the Eveltal, so be it. I'm going to win in the end. Why? Eternatus. That's why. Have a nice night, Fiend River. Thank you for leaving the tab. I appreciate you, man. Alright, please don't let that be the Evelto, even though that's clearly your best Dynamax option. Alright, yeah, that's that's the Eveltal. Please also... Oh, no, we already saw it was Life Orb in the Calyrex, so there's no chance it was Scarf. I was gonna say, I hate facing Scarf Calyrex so much. More than I hate facing Scarf Kyogre. That's fine. That's fine, because I keep my... I, I'm, I'm getting the speed boost. That Eternita should not survive a Dynamax Cannon from that range. I think, I hope, I pray, I eat, I love, <laughs> I live, I laugh, I love. I'm also surviving that and I'm still faster. Okay, we win. We win. That's that's gotta be game, right? That's 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 gotta be game. That's gotta be game. Can someone, um, if I open up a, a P.O. box, can someone, like, what is it called? Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. The, the disconnect I was hoping for. What was it called? Um, can someone crochet me a little pillow that says live, laugh, cannon? Was that me? There's no chance that was me, right? That was not me. I'm still connected to the internet. I didn't have to reconnect. I'm on Ethernet. Don't do this to me right now. I am on the I am on the sacred Ethernet. Great Ball 8. Say it. Say Great Ball 8. I guess we'll find out at the end of the next game. <laughs> 